my name is Carl Ott. I'm the CTO and uh, one of the co-founders of Telecom. What brought you to Synerzip? How did you decide to come work with us uh, at Telecom? Yeah, sure. It was an easy choice after my first experience. And this was about five years ago. Uh, this was another startup. And my colleagues knew of Synerzip from personal networking in town. Uh, and nevertheless, we, we were careful and we interviewed at several companies and we hem hawed a little and we chose Synerzip. And uh, from, from day one, things went smoothly at that other startup. Synerzip uh, discussed with us the kinds of needs that we had and our ideas about how to proceed. Synerzip uh, pr proposed, uh, this was your predecessor, Florence, Synerzip mm -hmm. proposed uh, kind of a team construct and we accepted that. Uh, we came up with a, a task that was a kind of a two-week, let's get to know each other, but have business value delivered immediately kind of a task. And that went off really well, and things just continued to improve beyond that. Uh, but uh, because we had a very uh, kind of different budget structure mm -hmm. and a different sets of targets and timelines, but it's really encouraging when a company like Synergy can adapt mm -hmm. and serve us despite really widely varying needs. And we really appreciate that. Can you share what your experience was and did you have any hesitation? What works well, what doesn't work well, et cetera. Uh, and, and how to make it work well, right? Um, which yeah, is what you've no done. Problem. Yeah. This is very natural and comfortable to work with someone 6,000, 12,000 miles away. What helps to make it work. And this is something I really like to talk about when I, when I speak positively of sinners because uh, I, in my view, there's a couple different engagement models, and the one is very transactional. Give me the spec, I'll give you the code. Mm -hmm. And the other is very collaborative and very engaged. And I've worked with both companies, and the transactional thing might be good if you have a really well-defined spec, if you know where you're going, you have good acceptance criteria, then it can work. But when you're in a startup, you're pivoting, you're still feeling your way through, you have that kind of a project where you're not quite sure of the outcome yet. You know about where you're going. Um, that's where the collaborative model, in my view, really shines through. And that's also, I would say, a, a unique positive strength that Sinners provides. Uh, because it's it's fundamental from, from the way that you assign team members. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's kind of, I think, it must be ingrained to the way working that individual contributors have at Synergip. And for a small team like we use, I found it very useful to be flexible, very mm -hmm. flexible. So uh, what I found it helps a lot is to figure out the needs and preferences, both of the developers in Pliny and uh, I and my colleagues here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And then we just find a way to, okay, what needs to be done? Uh, what's the kind of minimum where we can meet that that kind of uh, story definition of as a I need a and we'll know we're done when so we just find a, a simple and lightweight a way as possible to define that I really look forward to uh, doing what we did in the prior startup where mm -hmm. sinners have provided someone who helped with manual acceptance test and then over time he gradually built out uh, automated test suite in Jenkins, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, that was just phenomenal. And I look forward to the time when we can do that again with Synergip on this project. One thing you touched on was the culture and the DNA of the company, and you're very right. You know, we don't sit and mandate to each individual team that a client might be working with or the team that you have um, that you know do this, don't don't do this. We we've, we've we adopted Agile from the very beginning, and we were big fans of the lean startup and writing. Uh, uh, and deliver, delivering uh, business value and workable code as soon as possible. So I'm glad to see that you are seeing the benefits of that. It sounds like you had a well humming team and then we're hit with a pandemic and everyone's working from home remotely. What has your experience been working with Synerzip on that? You know, it was, it was truly remarkable in many ways because, uh, you know, we do have an advantage, obviously, being a cloud native company mm -hmm. and being already comfortable with this remote interaction, remote style of development. Um, but what was very interesting to me was that in the very first week of lockdown, uh, I think it was the very first week when we had lockdown both in India and in Dallas. Mm -hmm. In that very first week, um, 
Vinayak uh, and I managed to do two significant production de releases, production wow. deployments actually, mm -hmm. in the very same week. Now, granted, we've been working on them for a while, but uh, but it's, it's rare when we uh, do deployments, especially back to back in the same week. And they went off flawlessly without a hitch. In even though we were working remotely, it was uh, difficult to tell whether we were in the office or at home. Oh. It was just a smooth transition. It was wonderful. Tell me a little bit about the technology stack you're using and and how you felt. Uh, that the 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 professionals you uh, worked with from Synerzip were able to support you in the technology stack uh, that you have, and if oh, you can sure. describe the stack a little bit as well. Yes, so we have uh, we have quite the distributed architecture in every sense of the word. I'd say for such a small team, uh, at, at the core of it, we have a uh, a number of third party APIs. Why reinvent the wheel? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so, so to run those third-party APIs, we have a Node.js backend. Uh, we have one that handles the uh, the call flow logic. Do I connect this phone call? Do I block this phone call? Do I send it to voicemail? Uh, and that runs on Heroku, Node.js on Heroku. It uses an MLab uh, database, which currently, uh, oh, it's a Mongo database. It's currently running on MLab, and we are soon going to migrate it to the uh, M, uh, MongoDB Atlas uh, backend. Uh, then we have uh, iOS and mobile phone apps, which we provide to caregivers, mm -hmm. the, the people who buy the service from us on behalf of their loved one. Uh, then we also have uh, several different admin consoles. Those are a mix of React and Angular and Ionic. And then what's, what's kind of nice about uh, Synerzip is that uh, you know, it, it's very rare, even if you get a full stack developer, nobody has all the knowledge that they need right. on any given topic, even the best of people. Yeah, Stack Overflow, when, right? And Google. <laughs> that, that is, they're wonderful tools. Yes. But what's even better, I would say, mm -hmm. is being able to walk over and explore or pick up the Skype call yeah. to your colleague in Puni mm -hmm. and, and find somebody who knows, who's already done an Atlas a deployment uh, migration from database from MLab to Atlas, and or somebody who knows architecture, or somebody knows how to do a release in iOS and where that's going to get hung up and how to avoid problems. Did the team have any difficulty understanding the context and the needs of the mission and vision of your of your of your startup? Uh, you know, connecting with what you're doing it, it helps anyone work uh, sort of better, right? So was it difficult for them to understand what telecom well, is trying to do? <laughs> well, I think I think you have an interesting premise there that anyone helps it work helps them work better. But when I think of some of the transactional oriented companies that I've worked with, they really didn't care about the context. Mm -hmm. Tell me what to do and I'll knock it out. Yeah. But on the other hand, uh, the, everyone I've worked with at Synergy is hungry for information, mm -hmm. and it's not just because it's interesting and they want to they want to brown those up to you it's because mm -hmm. they they truly are they truly care and they they truly look for reasons that the context and how the context that your business operates in can help inform the decisions that they have to make on a daily basis and i would say that everyone i've worked with at center zip has has uh, very much embraced the concept when we talk about it um, and they're very open to listen to the context and, and understand, and they they appreciate these stories like I shared earlier mm -hmm. of specific seniors, and and frankly, that's helped me. That's helped the team, the distributed team, for sure. Because then uh, sometimes when I write specs and and share in Jira, I forget things because they're secondhand nature to how families live in the United States. Mm -hmm. But even though that might be very different from how families live in Pune, India, mm -hmm. uh, because I feel the relationship that we're able to build with the developers, they're able to look at what I say and find the gaps in what I haven't said and say, hey, you know, you've said this and this, but don't you really mean that? Mm -hmm. And I find that that collaboration is it's, it's so valuable and it makes, it makes our deliverables that much stronger and it makes the, 
it really shrinks the 6,000 miles between here and there. Carl, well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate You're it um, and, and this, um, uh, uh, this conversation. And uh, we wish you at Telecom all the best. And we thank you for the work that you do in this very difficult time. So thank you so well, much. Thank you. Yes, thank you.